Hi kids! Welcome to Teacher Beth Class TV! Have you ever been asked by your parents to buy something from a store? Do you join your parents when they go to supermarket? What do you see on your screen? Exactly! These are money. Where do you use money? Today, we're going to discuss about money, Philippine coins and notes. In this lesson, you will be able to learn the value of Philippine coins and notes. Are you ready? Money is used to pay for something we buy and services we have used. Money can be in the form of coins and notes. Let's look at each Philippine coin. Read the value of each. Five centavos. Limang centimo. Five centavos. Ten centavos. Sampung centimo. Ten centavos. Twenty-five centavos. Dalawamput limang centimo. Twenty-five centavos. One peso, isang piso, one peso, five pesos, limang piso, five pesos, ten pesos, sampung piso, ten pesos. Twenty pesos, dalawampung piso, twenty pesos. This symbol stands for centavo or centimo. You write the symbol centavo after the number. Examples, five centavos. Ten centavos, twenty-five centavos. Let's look at each Philippine note. Read the value of each. Twenty pesos, dalawampung piso, twenty pesos. Fifty pesos, limampung piso, fifty pesos, one hundred pesos, isang daang piso, one hundred pesos, two hundred pesos, dalawang daang piso. Two hundred pesos. Five hundred pesos. Limang daang piso. Five hundred pesos. One thousand pesos. Isang libong piso. One thousand pesos. This symbol stands for peso or piso. You write the symbol peso before the number. Your yud separates pesos from centavos. Examples: five pesos, one hundred pesos, one thousand pesos. 
Once again, money can be in the form of coins and notes. Don't forget, this symbol stands for centavo or centimo. And this symbol stands for peso or piso. Are you ready? Look at each coin and note. Write its value. Use the symbol centavo or peso. To actively participate in this activity, you may write your answer in the comment section. This is the correct answer. 10 centavos. And the correct answer is 200 pesos. And this is how you write 5 centavos. This is how you write 50 pesos. And this is the correct answer. 20 pesos. And this is how you write 100 pesos. And this is the correct answer. 25 centavos. And this is how you write 1,000 pesos. And this is the correct answer. One peso. Draw a line to match each coin and note with its correct value. 25 centavos. This is 25 centavos, 1 peso, this is 1 peso, 5 centavos, this is 5 centavos, 5 pesos, this is 5 pesos, 10 centavos. This is 10 centavos, 20 pesos, 
This is 20 pesos. 10 pesos. This is 10 pesos. Twenty pesos. And this is the correct answer. One hundred pesos. And this is one hundred pesos. Two hundred pesos. And this is the correct answer. Fifty pesos. And the answer is 50 pesos, 1,000 pesos, and 1,000 pesos is 500 pesos, and the answer is 500 pesos. Thank you for joining me. Let's learn, play, and grow together. Teacher Beth Class TV Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.